Hey guys, uh, today I want to talk about daisy chaining subwoofers. Now, uh, you know, is daisy chaining a good idea? Is it something that you want to do? And in some cases, yeah. Uh, in some cases, it makes a lot of sense. Now, the way I've got my room set up uh, with just dual subwoofers, uh, there's really no need to daisy chain. You can just put a splitter at the back of the amplifier and it'll do fine. Uh, but when you want to run subs around the room, you can actually save a lot of money by using, you know, one big long uh, interconnect and then shorter interconnects from one sub to the next. So instead of say having to run, you know, two 40 foot uh, RCAs, you could run one 40 foot and then say another, you know, 15 foot in between them. So you can save some money by doing this. But I actually, I was uh, discussing with Ed Mullen over at SVS uh, a couple of different things, um, you know, trying to figure out the four subwoofer uh, setup and things like that. And one of the things I asked him about was daisy chaining. And I asked him about using the line out uh, on the subwoofer. And, you know, and I was just asking more of as a matter of precaution because, you know, you make too many assumptions in this and you run into trouble. So I've found. But... Um, what he said actually kind of surprised me. Uh, what you can do is you end up with some subs and other subs not so much. The line out uh, can actually be have a delay on it or have some other effect on the signal, right? So if you look at this sub in particular, I'm going to zoom in for you. Uh, what we've got here is we've got your main LFEN and then you've got another LFEN if you're using stereo for some reason. But And then you've got the line level out. Well, apparently, this line level out can have a, a slight bit of delay on it. All right, so what, what most people would assume daisy chain would be is you plug in your input there, and then you're out to go to the next sub, right, which makes sense. But in, in this case, in some cases, uh, with some SVS subs and not with others, you can get a delay on it, and in others, it's just complete, uh, you know, it's per perfectly fine. There's no delay. So in order to combat that, what he told me, which makes complete sense to me, is instead of doing that, just use a, a splitter, okay? So I've got this, uh, here, let me zoom back out here. Sorry, guys. Um, so I'm just running this splitter here, and... Instead, you plug in, you know, the sub from the amplifier and then the sub that you're trying to daisy chain. And it, this acts just the same as, you know, the splitter being on the back of the amplifier. It's just more convenient. And so this way you're not losing any potential signal. And you may say, well, you know, the subwoofer I have doesn't have that problem. And it may be, you know, it may be that that's the case. Or maybe they don't even realize it. You know, it, it's this is kind of one of those really in-depth things that you wouldn't quite learn unless you're, you know, you're talking to someone that's really knowledgeable about it. Um, but this is just kind of a cheap insurance policy. I mean, a splitter is like ten bucks. You know, it's it's a lot cheaper than, um, you know, I mean, it's not you don't have to go out and spend you know a hundred dollars on a splitter, right? Uh, but this makes daisy chaining a lot easier. So if you're if you're trying to run subs around your room. It can make a lot of sense to, to daisy chain it because, you know, like I said, you can save a lot of money on the, uh, you know, on the cabling uh, just because, like for me, if I was trying to run uh, subs behind me, you know, I'd have to run, I think, about two 40 footers, uh, maybe one 50 footer. So, you know, that gets expensive, whereas you can run one 50 footer and then another 10 footer or whatever to run to the next sub, you can save yourself some money. And there's really not much you have to worry about in terms of latency or anything like that. So that's just one of those things that um, that I learned almost accidentally, <laughs> but could be very useful to you if you're trying to daisy chain some subwoofers together. Uh, you know, if you've got some uh, some delay or some, uh, you know, some sort of issue like that coming off the sub, you know, you, you might get a little less than perfect base. But by doing this, by just using a splitter at the subwoofer, uh, and it's the same splitter, you know, it's the same splitter that you would use on the back of your amplifier. It's just in a different position. And so anyway, that's my quick thing on daisy chaining. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or have any experience with this, but uh, I just thought you guys might find that useful. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.